In this video, we're going to write each equation in slope-intercept form. What is slope-intercept form? Well, that is y equals mx plus b. And we do that when we want to graph a line, because m is our slope and b is our y-intercept. Let's look at number 1. x plus y equals 15. I'm going to rewrite it here. x plus y equals 15. Now when I look at my formula, I notice that y is by itself. So I have x plus y on the left side of the equal sign. I want to get rid of the x. Since it's a positive x, I'm going to subtract x from both sides. This gives me y equals, now at this point, I want it to look like my slope-intercept form. So I want to put negative x plus 15. Because you'll notice when I write y equals m x plus b, I can definitely see that my slope is negative 1 and my y-intercept is 15. So this is the answer for the first one. Let's look at number 2. I like to rewrite them. 3x plus 4y equals 12. Now once again, we want to get y by itself. So I need to get rid of a positive 3x. The opposite of a positive 3x is a negative 3x. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides of my equal sign. That gives us 4y equals negative 3x plus 12. Now I hope you notice that I put negative 3x first because I wanted to match our slope-intercept form. But we still have a problem because y isn't by itself. Whenever I have a number next to a letter, it means to multiply. So the opposite of multiplying, yep, is dividing. And we're going to divide each piece by 4. 4 divided by 4 is just y equals negative 3 fourths does not reduce. So we're just going to leave it as a fraction. And then 12 divided by 4 is 3. And once again, we have our slope-intercept form. Let me just write it here. y equals mx plus b, where negative 3 fourths is my slope, and 3 is my y-intercept. I have two more for us. Let's look at number 3. Negative 2y minus 5x equals 10. I'm going to rewrite it. 2y minus 5x equals 10. Now once again, we want to get the y by itself. That means we want to get rid of the subtract 5x or the negative 5x. So the opposite of subtract 5x is adding 5x. And I'm going to do that to both sides of the equal sign. Now I have 2y equals 5x plus 10. What I like about number 3 is that we're so used to seeing the x and then the y that we need to realize that sometimes it could be written this way, with the y first and then the x. But we're not done, because I still need y by itself. Whenever I have a number and a letter next to each other, that means to multiply. So I'm going to divide everything by 2, and this gives us y equals 5 halves doesn't reduce, so 5 halves x, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So when I write y equals mx plus b right underneath it, m is 5 halves and b is 5. Now let's look at the last one. This is really interesting. I'm going to rewrite it here. We have 6x minus 7y plus 21 equals 0. Now we're still going to do the same thing. We want y by itself on the left side. Now it doesn't matter if I get rid of the 6x first or the plus 21 first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this guy. So the opposite of adding is subtracting. So I'm going to subtract 21 from both sides. Now remember, you could get rid of the x's first. It doesn't matter. It's all legal. Now we have 6x minus 7y equals negative, equals negative 21. Now I need to get negative 7y by itself. So just like we've been doing, I have a positive 6x. The opposite of a positive is a negative. So I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. And now we have negative 7y equals negative 6x minus 21. But we're not done because we don't have y by itself. I'm going to divide everything by negative 7. All right, now remember, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So I'll have y equals 
Six sevenths doesn't reduce, but once again, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So we'll have six sevenths x, and then negative 21 divided by negative seven is a positive three. I'm gonna write y equals mx plus b right underneath it, and this is my slope, and that is my y-intercept. Now that wasn't too bad, was it? Thanks for joining me.